What up, people? It's Al York Sports. About to kick y'all that top five quarterbacks of all time. But before I get into that, salute the Vegas Strong, LES Strong, East Coast, West Coast. And before I get off with this topic, I'm going to salute my boy Humpty, Will Wright, Brian Ford, who keeps stressing the fact that Tom Brady was a cheater. So I'm going to break all this down to y'all, man, with my new top five list. And I just ain't moving it because y'all told me to move it, man. The research just proves to do it, man. And, and if I'm going to be loyal to what I do, man, I got to live by it, man. That's why Tom Brady's out, man. But before the top five, let me give y'all quarterbacks that should have been in the top five. Y'all might debate about me about this. It's all grand, man. Just hit me on the post, man. We go back and forth with it, man. We're going to start off with five quarterbacks that I thought that could have made it. Terry Bradshaw. Four chips, you already know, Pittsburgh Steelers. Frank Tarkenton could have made it. Johnny Unitas could have made it. Bart Starr could have made this list. Troy Aikman could have made this list. Steve Young could have made this list. Uh, Jim Plunkett could have made this list. I mean, the list goes on, on, and on. But I'm going to start with my top five. I'm going to give you all the career statistics all the way down to two. And then when I get to two, I'm going to give you all the whole breakdown, and I'm going to hit you all with that loud. We're going to start off with my fifth all-time top quarterback. And let me make this clear. No active quarterback. So don't hit me with, yo, why Brett Ball? Why Aaron Rodgers ain't in it? Why Phillip Rivers ain't in it? I'm not doing no active quarterback. Everybody's retired on this list. Copy? We're going to start with number five, Miami Dolphins, Dan Marino. Let me give you his career statistics. 8,358 attempts. 4,967 completions, 59.4 completion rate, touchdowns, he had 420 interceptions, 252, passing yards, 61,361, passing rating, 86.4. That's Dan Marino, the Miami Dolphin. Now, my number four all time is John Elway, the Denver Broncos. Let me give you Elway's numbers. Elway, passing yards, 51,475. Touchdown interceptions, he had 300 to 226 interceptions. Not impressed by that. Completion rate, 56.9. Passing rating, 79.4, 79.9. Rushing career yards, 3,407. I'm impressed with that. And uh, rushing TDs, 33. Now we're going to our number three. My number three all-time uh, greatest quarterback would be Brett Farr or the Green Bay Packers. Let me give you his career statistics. He had 10,169 career attempts, 6,300 completions. He had a 62% completion rate. He had 508 touchdowns, which is remarkable, compared to 336 interceptions, which is kind of high for a Hall of Famer. Passing yards, 71,838 career. Passing rating, 86.0. Now we get into where we're supposed to get at. Top two. Now I'm going to give you all the full breakdown on these top two. My number two all-time quarterback would be Peyton Manny of the Indianapolis Colts. And, you know, you got guys that ended up elsewhere, but I'm going to just give you all where they started at. You know, we all know he ended up in Denver, but I'm going to say the Colts. Peyton Manny, two-time NFL champion, Super Bowl MVP, 14-time Pro Bowl, five-time NFL MVP, two-time offensive player of the year, uh, played with the Colts from 1998 to 2011. Played with the Broncos from 2012 to 2015. First pick overall by the Colts. Came out of Tennessee. And one word to describe him is Omaha. You know, because best audible caller. But I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you that later on. Three-time NFL passing leader, 2004 to 06. Coach retired as number 18. NFL records. These are NFL records. 71,940 yards in the career passing. 5,477 passing yards in one season. That's remarkable. 539 uh, career touchdowns, also remarkable. And he has seven touchdowns in one game, which I think that's never going to be broken. I mean, I can see a college team doing that, but not an NFL team. Now, his career stats is 9,380 attempts, 6,125 completions. Uh, he had a 65.3 completion rate. Touchdowns, 539 to 251 interceptions. He 2-1 to one his margin, which I think is good. Passing yards, 71,940. 
and uh, passing rating 96.5. And by the way, 539 is the highest touchdowns ever. Now, as my number one all-time quarterback, it was Tom Brady, but I had to exclude him for the cheating aspects. Is Mr. Cool, Joe Montana, the San Francisco 49ers. And let me break down Joe. Four-time Super Bowl champ, three-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time most valuable player, 89 and 90. Then uh, he, he played with the Niners from 79 and 92. The Chiefs from 93 to 94. Third round pick, 82nd overall. 1979, drafted by the 49ers. NFL Offensive Player of the Year, 89. NFL Comeback Player of the Year in 86. Two-time NFL Touchdown Leader, 82-87. Niners retired as number 16. 1977, he's the national champ for the Notre Dame Fight in the Irish. And his career statistics is 5,391 attempts, uh, 3,409 completions. He had a 63.2 completion rate, which is bananas. Passing yards, 40,551. Passing rating, 92.3. Touchdown and interceptions, 273 to 139. Now, let me give y'all a breakdown. I'm going to give y'all the loud, but without the music, because I got to really break this down. Number five, Dan Marino. Uh, reason why I got Dan Marino in my top five, uh, I just thought he was raw talent. I mean, coming out of the Pittsburgh Panthers, big Afro, white boy, just gunning, went into the NFL, whatever he did in college, and right into the NFL, got it to the Super Bowl real quick. But what happened with Dan Marino was everything happened too fast for him. Like, he got to the Super Bowl fast. He lost against the Niners. He thought in his mind he'll go back to many Super Bowls, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But my biggest memory of Dan Marino was in 1985 when he lit up Buddy Ryan in the 46 defense on Monday Night Football, 38-24, when he had the magic markers, Mark Dupin, Mark Clayton, and Tony Nathan, and, got, and they lit up the Bears. The Bears had no losses going to that Monday night, and then the Bears made it to the Super Bowl, and Miami could have made it to the Super Bowl, but they lost to New England Patriots with Steve Grogan and company, which is a horrible loss. Oh, my gosh. And that just messed up the Super Bowl because we all knew that the Bears are going to blow out New England. We would have loved to see Marino attack that defense again, which I thought the Bears would have won, but it would have been a great game instead of that 55-7 bullshit we had to see. All right? So now let me go to John Elway. John Elway is the all-time leader in fourth-quarter comebacks with 47. Uh, Marty Schottenheimer has nightmares about him. I mean, he got Schottenheimer like 15 times, including the drive at Cleveland when he bring him, I think, from the three-yard line with a couple minutes left, drove him all the way downfield to defeat the Cleveland Browns in the dog pound. And, you know, Elway is just raw talent, just like Marino, but he can run the rock also, so he's like a dual threat. I mean, he don't got blazing speed, but he's got enough speed to get you seven yards, six yards, and move them chains. And, you know, Marino got one of the greatest guns in the game. You know, people forget that the Yankees drafted uh, um, um, Elway. Look, not Marino, Elway. The Yankees had dra drafted John Elway, but he decided to play football. And, and, and great decision because he became a Hall of Famer. He's on my fourth all-time in quarterback list. He lost his first three chips, came back and won his last two. Salute to John Elway. Now, my third all-time was Brett Favre. Oh, I love me some Brett Favre. John Madden claimed Brett Favre was the best quarterback ever, but I think Madden had it in for Favre. He just loved the hell out of Brett Favre, especially when his father died that Monday night and he lit up the Raiders for like four or five touchdowns, 300-plus yards. I mean, people forget about Brett Favre. A lot of us want to remember that, you know, when he sent that picture to that girl, He's showing pictures of his penis. People want to remember them late interceptions, how he left Green Bay. But let me tell you something. Rewind the clock, man. Brett Favre was one of the best. And remember, when he retired, he broke all damn Marino's records, man. People fail to realize that, man. And, you know, and I hate when people try to put Aaron in front of him. I mean, Aaron, I think eventually he's going to break his records. But you don't do that right away because you don't know if he's going to get a career and an in in injury. Nobody knows that. So, you know, Brett Favre, you got to give him respect. And one thing about Favre that I loved, he made the game fun and look easy, just like Ken Griffey Jr. did in baseball. I mean, Brett Favre bring happiness to the football game, and nobody could deny that, man. Salute to Brett Favre. Now, as for my number two, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, best play call in the game. Let's get this straight. The best audibilizer, I mean, nobody audibilized better than Manning and did it as pretty. 
I mean, he mastered the defense. I mean, he'll go up right to the huddle. As soon as he sees something, Omaha, 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 kill, 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 kill. I mean, this guy, you didn't know what the hell to expect. There's only one team that knew how to handle Peyton Manning, and that was the New England Patriots because you have Bill Belichick and the mastermind of Bill Belichick who could defeat all that Omaha and kill, kill shit. But everybody else, Peyton Manning demolished. And one thing about Peyton Manning, he lacked mobility. Uh, you know, he just wasn't fast. He didn't have great arm strength. He used to throw a lot of ducks. But what Peyton Manning made a difference at was he was the first one in practice, last one to leave. His time in play was like no other. I mean, he would throw thousands of balls with Marvin Harrison, with Reggie Wayne. I mean, Dallas Clark. I mean, this guy, nobody worked out harder than Peyton Manning. And that's why he made the game look so easy. It wasn't that he was better than everybody as far as ability-wise. He just was a step ahead of everybody. And when you're a step ahead of everybody... That's like cheating almost in a way. It's like legal cheating if you ask me. So Peyton Manning goes down at my number two. Super Bowls, he was 2-2. Two and two. He used to choke in the playoffs, but he's the best regular season quarterback. But the fact that he won two chips does the job for me. And my number one all time is Joe Montana. Uh, it, like I said, it was Brady. Brady had the ability to be number one all time, but he got caught cheating. You can't give a man the best husband award. Right, because he takes care of his wife, he makes her happy, he takes care of the kids, but he fucking other girls on the side. Can't, it, it just can't happen. So I had to reconsider my thoughts. Tank the Humpty, who rubbed it in and said, Al, you can't put a number one a guy that cheated. Salute the Humpty for that. That's why I got to redo this whole top five. And I don't mind giving y'all this work, man, because I love working, man. But Joe Montana, 4-0 in the Super Bowls, was the uh, slickest, smoothest, Looking guy, blue eyes, running out around the field. You know, you, every time you thought you could sack him, he throws a 19-yard completion. I mean, I know he was surrounded with great players, but that takes nothing away from uh, Mr. Cool. Joe Montana, the greatest ever. You don't have the numbers to prove it, but you came through on these clutch games. You had a couple bad playoff games against the Giants, but besides that, you was the best in the game, and you did it the smoothest, and you iced them in the Super Bowl. And with that, that's Al York Sports. Let me end it out with some music. Salute to my boy, Craig Mack. Much love, Mack. This is for you, baby. <laughs> Top five quarterbacks, baby. Brought to you by Al York Sports. The pickup show is coming up soon, baby. We lined up to give y'all nothing but the business, man. Y'all need to tune in. Go to the website. Go to the YouTube, Al York Sports. Check it out. Subscribe. Do what y'all need to do. I got that work for y'all. Salute the Craig Mac, baby. Can I get down? Peace and love, y'all. 100. L-E-S to the depth. Al York Spizzles.